For the enjoyment of one and all, please refrain from using your telephones during the show. Or we will be forced to kill you and your entire family. Remember, please turn off your telephones at this time. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, Tank Bishop here. I was sitting around thinking a few minutes ago what would be a good topic for tonight's video and I was thinking about you know it's Labor Day, holiday Monday, long weekend. Everything's great, right? You know, for us. But there are a lot of guys out there, maybe they're even watching this video, and if you are, kind of mention where what what state you're in or what town you're in. If you're watching this video from the cab of your truck and have been laid over all weekend and won't be loaded until Tuesday morning or will unload until Tuesday morning. You know, there's a lot of that going around. And so that, that kind of brings up the topic of the number one thing you have to know about trucking is you have to love to drive a truck. That's the main thing to get through this job. If you don't love it, it's just a job. If you love it, you put up with a lot of things that go along with the job that Normally, when you tell other people what you have to do, they're like, man, I wouldn't do that. I'd quit that job. But you, you don't love the job. I remember back when I first started working, I was a helper at Pepsi-Cola. And I would get off early on Friday. You know, you're talking about 18-year-old boy. You know, early on Friday, we get through at 11 o'clock, and the guy would go to uh, another town uh, about a 50-mile drive from where we were. He carried drinks down to that town and tried to trailer twice a day. When I got off early on Friday, I was in early enough if I could go before he went to the 12 o'clock run. So I would spend my Friday afternoon riding in the tractor trailer just because I loved the truck. I loved being in the truck, driving the truck. And then a few years later, they started driving nearly up to Virginia. On Saturday, the, some of the firemen would come in and take turns driving a tractor trailer just on part time I would go in on my day off, my Saturday morning off, get up early and just ride in the truck with them and one of them would actually let me drive it. I did have a service license at the time but it wasn't my job but I was an employee there and I was legal and everything and the boss would have had a fit if he didn't know I was driving some but it was mostly just steering wheel holding down a highway you know but I love driving trucks and it's something that you would do, I think, just like that. I was doing it even when I wasn't getting paid. You know, I mean, yeah, everybody has to get paid now, but would you drive a truck on the weekend just for the sake of driving the truck? Let's say if you had another job during the week and somebody wanted you to do a short haul every Saturday, but you got to drive a big, nice tractor trailer. Maybe you're just going to go dump a load of logs for him somewhere. Maybe a two or three hour trip. You know, I would do it. If I wasn't driving a truck every day, I would do that job for him just for the sake of driving the truck, you know. And I know a lot of guys, there's a couple of guys on here now, there, there's one particular, he's supposed to be going to Prime. I won't call his name, but I'll, you, you know him. It's, uh, I ain't going to call his name right now. I might get into it later, but he's all excited he's going to Prime. But he sits home and he looks at these videos of these truck drivers on the road, different ones, and they're having a big time, you know, little guy trucker and all these guys. And uh, um, I'm just drawing a blank right now when I start trying to call people's names. Uh, trucker James and different ones. And it looks fun when you watch their videos, but they're making their videos look fun. It's, it's not all fun and games. They're basically doing videos a lot of time just in place of working and just trying to kill some of the boredom, you know, and they make it look good and fun and just, oh, just a barrel of laughs in the trucking community, but it's not. But like I said, you have to enjoy it. A lot of guys right now, when you were home all weekend, four-day weekend, three-day weekend, whatever you had, they got stuck somewhere for a three-day weekend. They're living in the back of the truck. They probably got there Friday or Saturday morning. They're not going to get unloaded till Tuesday morning or loaded, whichever, the, whatever the case may be. If they were lucky, they may have picked up their load Thursday, and they get to drive, you know, tomorrow without any traffic much on the road. But anyway, I'm going to go. Appreciate y'all watching and uh, 
commenting if you want to, thumbs up, please if you do, share if you can, go visit the Facebook page if you want to, um, join up over there, I need to go check that, I don't check that regularly, but hit the thumbs up button on the way out, and I will catch you guys next week maybe. And I don't remember my Thursday videos until maybe this winter. People have more time to watch videos. Anyway, Tank Bishop signing out.